everyone, in this video, we're going to be going over how you can set up alerts according to your business needs. So to set up alerts, you simply need to go to more alerts. Over here, since I'm using an admin account, I have the option of setting up my own alerts, alert for staff users, vendors, and service desk. We'll be going over service desk alerts in a separate video. This video only pertains to these three modules. So the first thing you can select is the format. You can have an email for each subscriber event, which is if a singular event happens, you're going to get the email for it separately. The other option is to have a daily digest of alerts. That is a singular email that contains all of the events that happened on a particular day. You will receive alerts for locations and groups that you have selected on the page below. So you can restrict the alerts you get for items based on their locations and groups. And you can select those over here. Since I'm an admin, I have selected all groups and all locations because that's what I would want to get alerts for. You can cut down your alerts by specifying one or two groups instead of all of them. So over here, you can see that we have this massive list of different alerts that you can get. The descriptions for them are pretty straightforward. So I'm not going to go into those details. However, whatever checkbox you select, is the al an alert that you're going to get. So I selected these checkboxes. So whenever a check-in happens, whenever a car check-in happens, a package check-in happens, or the check-in is due today, I'm going to get an alert for it. We also have alerts that are set up to be like reminders. So as an example, let's say we have the check-in due in one day alert. This is going to send an alert if there is one day left to an item being checked in. You can add reminders in this. So for example, you have one day, you can also say that you want to get an alert two days before the item is due, and then an alert three days, four days before the item is due. You create these reminders or phases as we call them. And once you save them, you can see that you will get an alert for when the check-in is due one, two, and four days before that date. So this kind of alert exists in multiple spots where there is a due date involved. We also have recurring alerts. So for example, an alert for overdue items, which repeats after every X number of days. You can set the number of days based on your business needs and we're, we're done. So these alerts are your own personal alerts. These are not alerts that are going to apply to everyone else in the system. If you're an admin user, you can also set up alerts for your staff users. And this is going to apply to all staff users in the system, unless you give them the option to override their own settings. These settings will act as a default template in a way. So here are all the alerts, pretty sim similar. Any email templates that you set up for your admin users are going to also apply to your staff users. And we have vendor alerts. So then we have vendor alerts. We have the option for sending an alert to the vendor email when a vendor is registered and a purchase order confirmation alert. So now let's move on to email templates. Email templates allow you to design emails according to your own needs instead of using the default email that's set up through EasyOffice. So let's look at a default email. This is the default email for checking in. This is a sample text. It has no bearing on your own, your company and its settings. So let's say you want to change up the email. The email template that you're applying this alert to, you can give the template a name. And you can set up placeholders in the email. So for example, we say hello. So over here, I've written down a template that you can, that someone might want to use for their check-in. And I've set it up and now I'm going to create the template. So now whenever someone gets an email for a check-in of an item, it's going to follow this template alongside the specified placeholders. Of course, you can always change back to the default or you can create more templates based on what your needs are. Yes, so that's all on setting up alerts in EasyOffice and how you can also customize them for your company's needs.